Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Mr. E Says. Uh, you know, I'm just going to get to the point. You know, right now you see me, you know, in the past few posts you see me standing up, you know, fired up. Uh, right now I'm a little disappointed in uh, UTEP. Um, you know, last week after that East Carolina game, I felt this empty feeling inside, guys. You know, um, I had a lot of hope and faith, especially after a Wisconsin game. I thought, you know, hey, they're going to go into East Carolina, they're, they're going to win. You know, uh, I really kind of felt like they could run the tables. You know, they still can run the tables, but... Uh, as of right now, I'm clueless on uh, on what team is going to show up this week against SMU. You know, uh, I don't think Nick Lamison is the answer. Uh, Lamison very inconsistent this year. Uh, just like last, you don't know. You know, you're going to have a good Lamison or a bad Lamison. Uh, now I kind of realize why Price is putting him meager at times. So get him ready just in case. Because I think in the back of his mind, he's got the idea that, hey, you know what, maybe uh, Nick isn't the answer either. So I think it's time to let meager go. Let meager go out there. Uh, let, you know, start meager this week. And I see what he can do, you know, because, you know, you're giving Lamison a shot, and he's very, uh, especially last week, he showed he's very flat. And uh, we're, way, we're, we're a better team than East Carolina. There's no reason we should have lost that game. But anyway, I don't want to talk about that game anymore. I want to talk about UTEP uh, versus SMU. Uh, UTEP versus SMU. SMU's kind of like in the same boat as us. Uh, SMU, you know, they play some big schools. They had a pretty big uh, schedule beginning of the season also. But the only difference between us and SMU is we hung in there in a lot of those games. Uh, SMU just got pounded. You know, they got, they got blown away, uh, except last week, which uh, may be a sign that they're getting better. I don't know. You know, they, they played TCU, and they only lost by eight points. But, you know, I don't think very highly of TCU anyway. Um, but, hey, you know what? Uh, I think UTEP this week, uh, I don't know how many fans are going to show up. I guess I really can't blame the fans anymore, you know, uh, especially after last week. You know, it got, it got uh, televised locally. And I'm pretty sure, you know, they, that, you know, they're televising this product locally, and they're trying to hope, uh, they're hoping, hey, you know what? Uh, UTEP gets his victory, maybe gets more people in the stands, but I think actually it kind of backfired on him because now they're going to have less people in the stands because of the very poor and ugly performance that UTEP gave uh, last week. But anyway, you know, go Miners. You know, I'm a Miner. I'm a, I, I, you know, I bleed that orange. You know, you're going to see me there. Even if there's like three people in the stands, I'll probably be one of them. You know, that's me. That's my team. This is my team. My home team is UTEP. And uh, no matter what, win or lose, I'm with them. You know, ride or die. But, uh, hey, you know what? Uh, the UTEP versus SMU this week. I think UTEP's going to pull it off, guys. UTEP, I uh, get UTEP by three points. You know, I know they got their quarterback, uh, Gilbert, uh, former Texas quarterback. Texas reject quarterback, anyway. But, uh, you know, let's go, Miners. You know, uh, let's get it going. You know, season's not over, guys. You guys are 1-4. And, and, uh, you know, I'll be talking to you guys next week when we play Tulsa. See you.